So I'm going to encourage you to go to groups. LinkedIn has an amazing number of groups. If you go to groups directory, it's going to pull up every group that they have. And I'm going to encourage you to put this on your to-do list. Go ahead and join two groups. Know you're busy. Two groups. That's not a lot. And as you can see, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and they've got alumni groups, corporates. I'm going to just go ahead and pick a nonprofit group. They've got them in all sorts of languages. I'm going to hit search, see what it finds for me. And then I'm going to I mean, pet lovers, animal lovers. There's just so much here. Okay, so nonprofit network. This one has 28. 1,238 members. This one has 26,000 members. This is a huge networking opportunity. As I said in the beginning, if you're looking for a JV partnership, if you're looking to connect with people in your industry, if you want to talk to a thought leader, or if you want to become a thought leader, groups is a great way to go. Most of them, you click on join group, what will happen is it will either immediately allow you to join the group, or there might be a small quote unquote application process, which means they're just going to say, you know, who are you and why should you be a part of my group? And then you have to wait for someone to approve it. Little advice here, if you do that and you don't hear within a week or so, don't worry, just cancel your request. If, if the moderator takes more than a week, it, it's not a group that you want to be a part of. It's probably not very active. That's just something that I've learned the hard way. So I'm not going to join a group, but I want to show you some of my groups. As you can see, I belong to quite a number of groups, if it would come up. All right. So I'm just going to click on linked business for no particular reason. Okay. Very quickly, an anatomy of a group. Again, you have your fancy dancy status update over here where you can add a link. Um, you're going to have the latest discussion, and they've got kind of a little scroll bar here. So if there's a lot of discussions, you can just kind of scroll through them. and then the discussions that are going on, people who have responded, the ability to like a discussion and make a comment. Follow discussion just means you want an email to let you know when people have responded, have added information on this. Um, this is a great way to find thought leaders and a great way to find people that you want to network with. People post out a lot of times, depending on the rules of the group, what they'll do is they'll post their blog here. Fabulous way for you to get a lot of exposure for your blogs. Okay, they post out webinars that they're having. They're, they're asking questions here. They're seeking to build relationships and network with people. And that's really the basis of this, all based on business. So say, for example, Lauren. Hmm, well, I, I like what she's talking, small business survivor. I can follow Lauren. So anytime Lauren posts anything on LinkedIn, I'll get an email. I know it sounds a little bit stalkerish, like, wow, I'm watching everything that she does. But if I'm hoping to build a relationship with Lauren, then this is a great way to do it. What we've got over here is the updates. So if you're busy, you go into your group discussions, you're going to look at the last updates for the last seven days. You can make a comment right here. Everything's hyperlinked. You can read more information about that particular link. And then here we go. Top influencers this week. People who participate a lot are going to be to called the top influencers. So if this was a group about I'm going to say social media because I do social media. And I see that Lee Ann Bartlett is just doing everything. I would be able to click on her name, learn more about her, see all her activity, and then maybe email her and say, hey, Lauren, I see that you're very much into niche social networks, and I'm really an expert on Facebook. Perhaps you and I can do a joint venture where we do a webinar together. Or perhaps we have work that we can work together on. And so this is how you're going to find more people for the connection. That's the point of the groups. One, you're going to be able to, to discuss information, but you're also going to find more people to connect with. Because the more people you're going to connect with, the more business you're going to get. And then, let's see, right across the top, the members. If you click on the members, it's going to show every single member within that group. And again, if you're looking to make connections, boom, you can click on the members link, find the members. There I am. Find the members and see their activities. Follow them. Understand who they are and then make connections with them. And it even gives you the newest members within the last seven days. So maybe even as a task list, once a week you have your virtual assistant or you or someone in your office or you do that and just click 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 and ask people to or to excuse me to connect with you and you can see Paul John is a it's a first level a lot of these people are first levels because I've already made a connection with them promotions now 
you have to be careful with your business groups or whatever groups you're going to be in. They have rules. And over here to the right, it says group rules. And when you join, they'll, they'll give you a little link that you should read. Do be cautious. I was in a group. They decided they didn't want any type of promotion, so no posting of blogs, no posting of articles that you had, nothing like that, only pure discussion. If you posted anything in your discussion other than a question or something to share that was not benefiting towards you, they kicked you out. So promotion tabs allow you to put information about whatever it is you're doing, whether it's your blog. As you can see here, people are talking about cor uh, courses and newsletters. All of that is right here. Jobs. Now, if you're a small business owner or entrepreneur, you're probably not looking for a job, but it's definitely a place where you can post jobs, and that's always a good thing to go do. Post the jobs. You can search, of course, and then you've got a little more. It makes it easier if maybe you're posting a lot or you've posted something in the past and you're trying to find it. You can just do a My Activities and get the information real quick. All right? So. Just to sum up, you're going to start by finding people that you currently know to connect with. And then you can connect with who they connect with. Then you're going to go to groups. You're going to join at least two groups, because you can find at least two groups to go ahead and join. And you're going to start participating in that group and finding who the thought leaders are on there, people who that you think are a good match for your business, or people who might need your product or services. That's a really important part. Point two, don't, don't be shy. If you think you've got a product or service that would be a good match for someone, then you can talk to them and connect with them on that. 